Welcome back, this is Neil from Digital Canvas. For more free videos, check out my link in the description. So we're continuing with Jessica Alba as Navi. And uh, f I'm going to use a soft brush first. I'm going to add this kind of bright color over here more. And I'm going to get rid of this part here, like so. Then I know that a lot of this side of the nose is all going to be dark. And I'm going to add in I'm going to add in texture after I do this, so don't worry. I know all this part down here is going to be darker because they're like cat people. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that now. And that way when I go ahead to color it, I'll already have that uh, look there. I'm going to add just a little bit of this line coming down here, like so. They, you know, like cats have this darker part here, and so do they too, the Navi. Because a lot of them is based on cats, so they have this darker part here. Wait for the lag to go away. Wait for it to catch up. I don't know what it's doing. I'll push pause. Oh, I see what the problem was. I'm going to go to uh, merge down. I'm Probably merge down again, see what I got here. Yeah, I'll work all on this layer. And I'm also going to have to, you know, make her eyes yellowish green and all that. I'll, I'll add all that. I'm not worried about it right now. I'll add all that after I get all this stuff done. What I really want to make sure I get is the cat-like shape of the nose right. So you get that to look right and then everything else starts looking cool. I'm going to go with this kind of dark shadow. Just, oops. I want that really dark color. Here we go. I'm going to kind of add the shadow in here even though it's not technically on her face. It would be here if the photo had been taken with her big lion nose. Alright, so then and a lot of that's going to be in in, uh, in the dark too. But I do want the shape to be right. Even though it'll, you know, once the shape comes in, it'll look better once I get it how I need it with uh, the blue and everything. Okay, then I'm going to go to uh, Filter, Liquify. And I should have done this in the very beginning, but I messed up, so no big deal. Easy to, f oh wait, wrong tool. Easy to fix. I need to bring, her nose needs to be more pointy. And then there's one other thing you'll notice about the Navi too is not only their noses kind of have this like B up, up or not upside down, right side up B shape. Let me use my soft brush, but right in here, right in here, you can see that they have this kind of here, which makes this part stick out more and this part kind of sink in more. So if you view it from the side, it would look like let me show you actually. And I've actually saw pictures of them from the side. Their noses kind of go like this from the side, right? So in the front then that that equals to light, dark, you know, light like that. Because light makes things come out and dark makes things go back. So I'm gonna make all this here kind of lighter. And I'll add just a that's probably too much dark. But we'll see how that looks like. Just a little bit of darkness right in there. So it kind of brings that overall shape I'm looking for out. Like I said, a lot of this will be fixed too when I I'm gonna bring this, make it a little bit darker so it kind of adds more of that, you know, cat likeness. How they have their eyes too. Okay, 
right so I probably don't need to do this but I'm gonna add just a little bit of texture into the nose by taking the texture up there from the forehead and then just drawing it down here into the nose maybe a little bit from her cheeks I don't want too much texture on this part but I do want just a little bit of texture I could have also used my skin texture brushes as well that would also get the job done but just a little bit of texture, not much. Notice the parts I filled I overdid with texture. I'm just going back over it again. Maybe I'll pick a softer texture like here. Just kind of getting rid of some of the hard parts there. Right. Okay, so we're moving along. I'm going to kind of flatten out her head up here a little bit, smooth it out, there we go, cool, cool. Just kind of looking over some parts as I go to make sure um, you know, everything is working the way I want it to. Like I want this white line to kind of come all the way down to here, I want all that part to be lighter. That adds more of that overall sharp shape I'm looking for as well. I want that kind of sharpness to come all the way up there into the eye. Just a little bit like that. Cool. Right, so now we can start on the color. Actually, one other thing, I might as well just go ahead and get rid of that really quick. I'm using the healing brush tool I sampled from up there and then tapped right there. Okay, so now that I have everything I need, I can get rid of the other layers. Make a copy of this layer for the eyes that I'm going to need. Image adjustments, I'm going to do hue and saturation first. And I notice that if you kind of go with almost this more purple color first, we'll get more of what we want in just a second. Image adjustments, and then now color balance. You can also do adjustment layers, but I don't see the point since I'm going to be doing the whole thing. Now make sure you add a little bit of cyan, or kind if you want to say it like the pepper. Just a little bit of that too on the highlights. And for the shadows, I'm going to add a little bit of magenta, maybe a little bit of red then blue right and then go to image adjustments hue and saturation this time I'm going to turn the saturation down just a bit and I might have actually let's go back to color balance I think I need to add just a little bit more of this kind of blue in there there we go and then finally I'm going to add before I go in and raise the eyes for I can get the eye color the way I want it. I'm going to add a little bit of color to the face. One, I want her lips to be a little bit brown and her nose to be a little bit brown. So I'm going to use soft light. I could also use color eyes maybe. I'm going to use like this kind of brownish color. I'm just going to add a little bit, not much, just enough to make a difference. Like I said, most of that I knew was going to be in the dark shadows. I'll probably be adding more dark shadows to the face anyway. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that last little part right there. I don't like it. How much time to have if I went over already, huh? Oh, just about. Alright, so that pretty much ends it for this one. We'll come back in and I'll add a little bit more. Uh, color to the face some, to add some variation before we move on to the stripes and stuff. So thank you for watching. Uh, this, like I said, this tutorial is going to be much shorter than the other one, but it gets the point across, and that's all that matters. Um, the other one I lollygagged around too much. Thank you for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and check out my link in the description for more free videos.